डियर पेरेंट्स माय प्रणाम श्री हो आई वुड लाइक टू स्पेसिफिकली रिक्वेस्ट द हिंदू पेरेंट्स you should educate your daughters your children with the cultural social values of our motherland many of the hindu parents are not aware about what is happening to their children particularly growing girls your daughters they think that the world is so open and they can conquer anything they are educated and they can get anything as their own the parents have given full freedom almost in every hindu family unlike the muslims are so rigid about their daughters and the christians are reasonably rigid about their daughters in getting the good marriage alliance from their own religion for their children particularly girls whereas hindus are keeping the option open many of the hindu girls are getting trapped in the love of affairs with the muslims and to some extent with the christians and if it is happening in a positive sense people may not be in a position to criticize it but it is told that more than 6300 hindu girls from kerala are now working in as prostitutes in different parts of india who got a trapped with a, the muslim boys and got converted into islam or christianity and they are not in a position to come back to hindu dharma nor they are in a position to live a happy life with their one husband many hindu girls are got a trapped with already married christians or muslims so that there is no alternative in some of the religions polygamy is permitted same girl can become the wife of different men after divorcing so your your daughter should never reach a position that she is decorating the bed of different men in different religion it has become very common particularly in kerala the muslim girls trap hindu girls and forceful love affairs are being created and finally ending up in in love jihad type of marriage and there begins the end of the life of your daughter if you are not drawing a lakshmana rega for your daughter if you are not teaching the cultural values and the heritage values and the moral values of our motherland our, our dharma naturally your your daughters will not be knowing what is happening in india what should happen in india and these two are not well aware for yourself and your daughters as a person who is working who is who is going around india for delivering lectures i can directly see i can listen i can watch i can discuss and i can think that many many thousands of hindu girls are getting trapped in the love of years and ending in a miserable life generally hindus once their daughter gets trapped into love affairs with other religion they will never allow the daughters to come back muslims and christians are waiting for our daughters to reach their then they want to use that that daughters or those who get converted into their religion as the tool for further conversion of hindus and once your daughter or your son got a trapped into other religious love affairs and once they got converted into that religion this fellow is used as an instrument for further conversion in that family 
Unfortunately, we are ignorant, we think about ourselves and we think that we are thinking about our family. What is happening around us, we are closing our eyes and we are ignorant about it. Some of the Hindus are also enjoying the bad faith and the sad fate of what is happening in their neighborhood. In the name of religion, in the name of poverty, in the name of disease, in the name of old age and in the name of availability of partners, conversion is going on throughout. If you are coming to Kanyakumari, you can see that for the last 10 years, more than 30% of the Hindus got converted. In Nagaland, almost all the Hindus got converted. In Manipur and Mizoram, remaining 20% of Hindus are there, 80% got converted. In Orissa, 23% of the Hindus got converted. In Tamil Nadu, almost all the 500 slums got converted by paying 500 rupees for each slum dwellers. Almost all the temples in slum area got converted into churches by the idols getting replaced with the cross. Remember that your daughter, your family, your dharma, your nation, if you are not careful, will get definitely trapped into a situation where you cannot come back. More than 28% Hindus were there in, in Pakistan. Now hardly 2% are there. What happened to the 27%? Forcefully got converted into Islam for surviving in, in Pakistan. They are burned alive. What is happening in Bangladesh? All the 68 Muslim countries, what is happening? Think about it. All 120 Christian countries in the world, what is happening? For Hindus, India is the only only hermitage or I would like to say ashram. Whatever happened to Hindus, only we have to look at. But Indian rulers are ignorant and they are closing their eyes. And they want to belittle, degrade and denigrate Hindu dharma and Hindus. Please do not think that another avatar will come for protecting Hindus. Please do not think that when the so-called protectors or saviors of Hinduism will protect you, if that would have happened, the rate of increase of conversion in India is touching about 30,000 per day. That too through crooked and treachery, this is happening. The saviors of Hindu dharma, whatever may be the thing that they are claiming, they are also helpless. They are thinking about Gosamrakshana. They are thinking about uh, other things, organic farming, and they are not in a position to prioritize what should be taken first. And the real tornado of conversion taking place in India for converting India into a Christian land by 2020, these people are ignorant. They are still following the elephant procession in temples, Annadana, and uh, golden flag post in temples and so on. Many sannyasis preach that you submit yourself to Guru Ayurapa, everything he will solve. If that would have happened for the last 950 years of slavery would, have, would not have happened in India. We welcomed Muhammad Ghazni by giving food and water. If Hindus would not have given food and water to the 20 lakh soldiers of Muhammad Ghazni. Muhammad Ghazni would not have come to Somanada temple. We were ignorant, we are ignorant, we are acting ignorant and we are closing our eyes and telling that this is night time. Particularly to you, I would like to say protect your daughters, protect your son from Lao Jihad or conversion into another religion through treachery and cheating and crooked methods. Anyone marrying anyone else is not my business. I am telling just like Swami Vivekananda and Mahatma Gandhi said in, a, in the same voice, if a Hindu got converted into Christianity or Islam, it is not the matter that the number of Hindus decreased by one or the number of others increased by one. The fact is that an enemy has been created for our nation 
and also for our dharma. Your daughter, your son, your family member should never become an enemy for our dharma and our country. Whosoever got converted into other religion, bring them back with the support of the society. Let the Hindu protectors, saviors, protect you also from bringing them back. Never close your gate against your, your daughter or son if they got married into the partners of other religion. Bring both back to your dharma. Let our dharma survive in this country when we ourselves rule. 250 years of Christian rule and 650 years of Muslim rule did not kill India. But 66 years of Indian rule by Indians killing India, you are ignorant about it. I am not scared, I am not worried, I am not afraid also. I am informing you. It's my dharma to inform you. And as a scientist in CSIR who took VRS, who studied reasonably well for the last 50 years, scientifically, logically and rationally our dharma, it is my dharma to inform you what is happening for Hindu dharma and also what is happening to India in the name of religious minority, in the name of vote bank, in the name of law jihad, in the name of conversion, in the name of the Pope's declaration that third millennia is for converting India and China. Pope declared that first millennia was for Europe, second millennia Africa and America, and third millennia conversion should take place completely in India and China and in nearby countries. Christians will not touch Muslims, whereas Christians are focusing only 1 billion Hindus for bringing into their fold, for increasing their number. All the upper cover is so silent and calm, but underneath the undercurrent of Christian activities, undercurrent is not known to Hindus, or they are closing their eyes, keeping quiet. You should not become like that. Do your level best to protect your family, your society, your dharma and your nation. Let Bharat Mata not cry again and again for the last 950 years she cried. Now it's our dharma to see that her tears are wiped out. Thank you very much. My pranaps to you.